<laughs> Wing Ellen and Bigfoot. First afternoon's progress. That's what uh, a clear back of the bus looks like. Got some tools there. And that's about the halfway point, the door. And there's still a whole lot more seats to come out. Take you for a walk through the bus. Started stripping out on this side, and we're back to that's just carpet going to be ripped off on the ceiling there. And on this side, we've still got this attached, so we're going to be cutting all of that down. Hopefully, that gives you a bit uh, better idea of the inside. Progress report is uh, air conditioning unit is out, quite happy about that, including all the piping. And I'm just climbing up on this wee mobile scaffold to cut the stuff off the top. First caps off, now I'm going to take this one off. All unnecessary appliances are going. This is a bus roof, almost with the air conditioning off, huzzah! This was the bulkheads which I've cut out and uh, pulled up a couple of holes. The floorboards. Today I'm uh, welding up brackets. Bit of, uh, bit of zip zip going on with this machine. I'm going to scaffold this whole thing and I'm cutting the roof off and I'm raising it up 400 millimeters. It's a big job. <laughs> but with God's help, we'll get there. Props are in, and scaffold is up. Gonna be jacking soon, and then welding all of those brackets in place. It's jacking day for the bus. It's a bit hot in here. Got the acro props in place. Dad's giving us a hand. The roof is officially detached and just sitting up on these jacks. Now I'm committed. Got to go the whole way out and put the new steel frame in place. The roof has been raised. That's where that's going to go. There's currently clouds and blue sky visible from inside the bus. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, the heat height is amazing. Been a big day. Got the frame fitting well in place. And the jacks are out. We have a much bigger space. And tomorrow we have to weld up all of those in the morning. So yeah, and the front parts up here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pretty sharp. Ready to go. Run it up. Well, the wind and weather are not being kind to us today. It is super windy outside. And uh, my, my PVC plastic, covering uh, to keep the wind out. It makes it kind of noisy in here. Yeah, it's also trying to rip itself off. So I've been taping up the holes as they form. But man, it's, it's so windy outside, it's almost too windy. To, really, it's too windy to work on the scaffolding, so. Dark. 
bit of a setback. Just getting these fiberglass panels up. So that's uh, Ooh, second side, two panels. Looking good. It is time to fiberglass sand the bus. Uh, and I feel like next time I get disposable overalls, I need to get one size bigger. It's a little bit, a little bit tight. Good to go. Let's do it. Run it up. We are currently taping drop sheet on the bus. Maddie's got the masking tape out. Gonna be able to paint that roof. So all bogged, fiberglass, bogged, sanded, uh, wiped down with thinners. And once the um, drop sheet here is on the side of the bus, we'll be ready to paint. Time's getting away on me, but she is taped up. Hopefully this plastic stuff holds together for a couple of days. All right. She's painted. Check that out. Looks original. Beautiful. The back is all looking good. Look at that. It's good. doing is exactly so this is the inverse look of our windows everything where we can see the glass right now is going to be black that's going to be open and then those front two actually everything from there forward is going to be open just need to cover these so they don't get overspray This is the substructure underneath the couches where we need the seat belts to go. This is going to be an angled couch with one, two, three, four, five seat belts. Another small couch here with one or two seat belts there. Uh, I'm going to put some wires in the bus. I'm going to run this, I'm going to run my feeds down and under the floor. I've got a nice kid me pretty much the whole way down, so it's pretty easy to run and I'm going to come up through the floor. My orange spots are where I'm going to put uh, power points. So I'm bringing these up here. Thank you, Matt. Progress shot, Scotty. Still grinding spray foam back. This has been one of the worst jobs of my life. Um, it made one heck of a mess. Check this out. It looks like snow or apocalyptic ash has fallen in the cab. I've actually blown all of this down the back, but there's just stuff everywhere. So the nice thing though is all my buttons are exposed and we're back to flush. So we can start putting lining up soon. Now I just have to get this lovely fuzzy stuff into rubbish bags. Yeah. Run it up. 
of this bit up here still needs to be ground. Spray foam is finally cut back and we've got staunch construction on the job. First check's about to go up. Wires are all in and tested. Let's get some plywood on. Yeah, yeah. First ceiling sheet is up. Looks good, eh, is? Yes. Uncle Scotty knows what he's done. Do I look very sure, like planning, kitchen designing? You do. Doing kitchen design. Looking great, actually. DIY. Tell us about it. Yeah. El Shelly. Where's the fridge? Fridge is here. Okay, good. And some cupboards. Cupboards. A microwave. Okay. Gas. Extraction Oven, fans. Fan. Tiles. Being safe here in the corner or here facing the front. I like the corner idea. I, mean, I like the corner too. Because it leaves that bench space free. And then you can actually also, especially if this is free, have a wee fold down extension on the bench top. Oh, yeah. If you extra bench space, you can just put that up. True. Yeah. yeah. Lock kids in the lounge. And then that can just stay tucked down there when you're not facing it. Which you quite like. Yeah. Sweet. Sounds like a plan. Plus, if you have oven there and sink there, you also have some beach space in here. Yeah. So everything's all masked up, windows all masked up, everything pretty much undercoated and sealed. So hopefully this coat of paint goes down all right. Here's my beautiful wife coming to inspect the work. Uh, first coat is on um, and it's looking okay. Um, sprayed up all right but there's a few runs in a few places, places which I'm not proud of. However, the question is, will they be noticed by anybody but me? Mm. What was that? Stuck running. Stuck running? Oh dear. I'm just seeing a puddle there. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Where you solved it. Maybe <laughs> later. <gasps> a wall. Run it up. What's going on in here? Oh, three little kidlets. <laughs> in the bunk room. One, two, three beds. Four, five short little beds. today. Um, this is the sharp on its side. I'll cut the floor to put the plumbing pipes in. Maddie's got her floor samples. Checking out the range, darling. Yes. We got here. This is the bracken. Possibly a bracken there. I want to try this too on the floor stack. Looking pretty good. This will be done tomorrow. Eight. Looking pretty good. It's not stuck down yet. No, it's not. And we're probably going to fall through. Right, and so I love it. I like the pen. Not shows. He said it's quite cool, isn't it? I mean, 
to make me mixed CD. <laughs> It's so like, funny to tell the kids. Who <laughs> they painting your headboard? <laughs> we got some bedroom decoration painting going on here. Ruben's helping. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm doing the edges and the Lucy's painting hers because this is Lucy's. Oh, Luna. What colour did you choose, Lou? Uh, paper doll. Paper doll. Paper doll. You see, your arm and shoulder is on there, and I've already told you to watch out. Getting close to getting this thing on the road today, I'm pulling a cable snake plus a couple of extra pull wires through a conduit that I've put on top of the bus all the way out the bottom, runs to the power box on the other side. Yeah, solar panels, it's a good job done. 10 150 watt panels on the roof. Just framing up bedroom door. We now have a door frame. Yeah. Very good. Bedroom door. Bedroom door will swing and open. And uh, ideally it'll close up against here. So we'll have a door that can open from the bedroom and also then swing and close the hallway off. That's the plan. I'm feeling tired. I have spent ages trying to hang flipping door in this gap. And I must have taken it off like three times with these easy fit hinges, which aren't so easy to fit. However, thanks to my man, but oh no. I'll just put the clashing strip on. It's not even closing. Dull. Let's try again. One arm sliding door. Rolling beautifully. If I let it go, tells me I'm on a very small angle. it up.